What's good YouTube? My name is Landry and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, this is the place where we will discuss and tell stories about civil engineering projects around the country. For this first season of videos, we will be focusing on the New York City metropolitan area. If you're from New York or you traveled here, you know the traffic here sucks and that's being very nice about it. I would rather run on hot coals every day if that meant I didn't have to drive in New York during rush hour. New York not only has the fifth worst roads in the country, based on the amount of vibration a driver experiences while traveling, but the Cross Bronx Expressway, George Washington Bridge, and I-95 in Fort Lee, New Jersey experience more traffic delays than any road in the country. That's crazy. But why? We will discuss why and many other things. When it comes to New York and civil engineering projects, there is one name that stands out, Robert Moses. He will be a big part of the content of this channel, as most of these unbuilt road ideas came from him. The man did nothing but try to make ridiculous road concepts happen. During the first season of this channel, we will discover and discuss what proposed plans Robert Moses had developed for roads in New York City, Long Island, the Hudson Valley, Connecticut, and New Jersey. And in future seasons, we will branch out to other areas of the Northeast like Philadelphia, I hate the Eagles, Boston, I hate the Celtics, and even Washington, D.C. Uh, they have no good sports team, so I can't really hate on them. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to us creators, and it's a very easy way to support the channel. All right, let's get into our first road. We will be traveling east from New York City and onto Long Island to talk about the Robert Moses plans for what we know as Deer Park Avenue or State Route 231 and what it was meant to be, the Babylon Northport Expressway. In 1957, the New York Department of Transportation or NYS DOT proposed a 14 mile long expressway. This expressway was proposed to provide relief for the expected commercial traffic in western Suffolk County on Long Island. The route was proposed to connect the already well-established towns of Babylon and Northport. The NYS DOT stated, The Babylon Northport Expressway, a north-south route for cars and commercial vehicles to western Suffolk County, fills an unserved area in the regional highway grid. It will serve as a feeder route to transportation centers on the Long Island Railroad in Babylon and Deer Park. Construction began in 1962 and it was projected that the road would cost $25 million. That's $254 million in 2023 money. In 1966, the Tri-State Transportation Commission fully recommended the route be built by 1975. And by the end of the 1960s, New York State had purchased 40% of the land to be used for the right-of-way for the expressway. This was seriously close to happening. We will go over why it did not happen later in the video. There were even plans to extend the limited access highway through Northport Village and through the small town of Ashroken across the Long Island Sound to connect Long Island with Connecticut by US 7 in Norwalk, Connecticut. Those plans were ripped up and tossed into the trash almost instantly as the commission and NYS DOT declared there were too many houses along the proposed route in Northport. So they left the northern terminus at the proposed 25A junction south of Northport Village. Let's take a look at exactly where this route was supposed to go. Here's a look at the total proposed plans. What you see in yellow are the Robert Moses proposed plans that had support from the NYS DOT and Tri-State Transportation Commission. And what you see in red are the plans for the Northport Norwalk Bridge that were torched faster than Tyreek Hill running a 40 yard dash. In terms of the northern section in red, the main reason why this was scrapped so quickly were the narrow amounts of land that could be used and the amount of housing that existed through this area that would need to be demolished. The overall consensus was Ashroken was too developed on top of being home to many affluent New Yorkers. Moving south to the southern end of the proposed Babylon Northport Expressway in Babylon, here is 2.6 miles of the route, which was actually constructed, that handles 31,000 vehicles a day as of 2021. 
North of this existing 2.6 miles of expressway, the route was to curve slightly east of the current four-lane surface road that is currently Deer Park Avenue. The first interchange would have brought the road across the Southern State Parkway with a cloverleaf interchange. Then, northwards, the road would have followed along the Samparams Creek, which I definitely mispronounced, along the Babylon Islip town border to continue with County Route 4 or Comac Road. There likely would have been an interchange in Deer Park with Grand Boulevard, which would have been a cloverleaf as well. Looking at this interchange with Grand Boulevard, much of the infrastructure here, like the Tanger Outlets, a major attraction in the western Suffolk County area, would not be in existence today if this road had been built. North of this area, the Babylon Northport Expressway would have continued along Comac Road alongside the former Edgewood Hospital. Much of this section was purchased for the right-of-way of the proposed plans and is still vacant to this day. Then, the highway follows about a half mile east of Carl Strait Path north as it approaches the Long Island Expressway. Here, the interchange would have been a cloverleaf interchange. At this specific point on the expressway, the Long Island Expressway handles 165,000 vehicles a day. A cloverleaf interchange would have caused serious bottlenecks to the area and would have likely been reconstructed. North of this point is where things get hairy and where opposition for the route was loud and everywhere. The Babylon Northport Expressway would have had a cloverleaf interchange with the Northern State Parkway. And then, close by, was State Route 25, known as Jericho Turnpike, and County Route 66, known as East Deer Park Road, to head north alongside the right-of-way of County Road 10, which is Elwood Road. I don't see much problem with the cloverleaf being used to, for the intersection with the Northern State Parkway, as historically, it was designed to handle much less traffic than the Long Island Expressway. However, the interchange with County Road 10 or Elwood Road would have been a huge problem. They likely would have had an interchange similar to the one used for the Sunken Meadow Parkway east in Comac, where it converges with Jericho Turnpike and Indian Head Road. North of this point, the route continues alongside Elwood Road north to interchanges with Plasky Road. And finally, the northern end of the Babylon Northport Expressway would have placed it at State Route 25A, just south of Northport Village. So we know where the road was going. Now let's find out why the road wasn't built. In 1960, according to the media outlet The Long Islander, more than 500 people attended a local town hall meeting and presented a petition with over 1,400 signatures that opposed the highway. It should be noted that most of the opposition was towards the northern end of the proposed route, north of the Northern State Parkway into Northport Village. These were Huntington Town residents. By 1972, with delays from local opposition weighing heavy, the cost of the expressway doubled from $25 million to over $52 million. Adjusted to 2023 numbers, that's $524 million. With immense pressure from Huntington Town residents, the NYSDOT and the Tri-State Regional Planning Commission then switched plans to make a diet version of the original plans. To convert the original plans for the Babylon Northport Expressway to appease the local residents, they proposed at-grade interchanges with Jericho Turnpike, Pulaski Road, and State Route 25A. This did not work, and the local opposition standed firm for years on end. By 1981, the Babylon Northport Expressway was officially canceled. The Huntington town officials folded like a cheap beach chair due to pressure from the wealthy town of residents and the inability to build the Babylon Northport Expressway through the town of Huntington led to the plans being shelved. While the expressway project was never built, it left a lasting legacy, a reminder of the power of community activism and how this unity can stop major government offices and corporations in its tracks. Basically, North Shore Long Island residents are goaded when it comes to getting something canceled if they don't want it there. And you will see more examples of this in the future. And that brings us to the end of our journey into the unbuilt Babylon Northport Expressway. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about hidden civil engineering stories, don't forget to hit the like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. We have dozens of roads in just the New York City area alone to cover as well as New Jersey, Boston, Philadelphia, 
in Washington, D.C. Thanks for joining me today. As always, keep exploring and cherishing the histories that shape our world, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.